All right, fellas. As we know, Dylan can never make it to a boat ramp on time. So, we're a little late, but it is a tournament day. We're back at Taylorsville Lake. Doug is with me, as you can see. I'm getting my other GoPro on. Uh, we're actually not super late. We're about maybe 10 minutes late to fishing. No big deal. Um, shout out to Mike for allowing me to show up late and pay him after tournaments. I appreciate that very much. So, uh, But I've just got this GoPro on. I'm going to get my power going and uh, get up there and start fishing with Doug and see if we can figure something out today. If you're going to ban it, ban, ban the actual problem item, right? The problem item is the live scope because that's what's allowing you to see where exactly a fish is, right? That's why. There, oh, I just missed one. He just kind of bumped it, but it's a fish. Water's still super low, too. It's like about two and a half foot low. Emphasis on the humming. Like a bumblebee. I'm telling you, is it not a weed eater? Like, I think it's a steel. I'm pretty sure I can tell you the brand. That's pretty funny. I'm <laughs> not even like trying to be mean funny, it's just kind of funny. <sighs> There's so many fish right there. But like, I'm sure I'll pitch out here and not have anything look at me. Now nah, I don't even know where they went. Problem with it. Trying to keep up with them is impossible. Yeah, he's hung on something though. He's still there. He's just hung. I don't know if it's a real big bass. It's a bass, but you can see where he's got bubbles coming up. He's still there. Well, I mean, I was watching my rod go. I am on a stump with a fish hung to it. <laughs> he took me right under his log, it comes out. 100% what he did. All I can do is just try to MacGyver him out. He's still there. Yeah, he came out. He's close. He ain't gonna make it though. He's close. Well, you take over. I'll give him a... I'll give this one a Demiki rig real quick that's busting on Chad right here, and then I'll deal with fish number one. Come here, bud. See, I told you I had him. I'll have to retine everything. He frayed me pieces. He's healthy. I mean, he's a fat fish. Sorry. Yeah, he's 14 and a half. He's nowhere near, though. I know he's close. Solid one, though. Show them to this camera. Show them to this camera for a change. See, bud? That's a heck of a lot of a better start than the last time I fished this lake. I think I went the first three hours without anything and then caught a four inch or so. Positive, I guess, but not quite the size we need. There's another one right there immediately. So maybe they might chew a shaky head a little bit today. That'd be nice. Not like legitimately set the fish. Still fishing. They are quite good at it. Huh. Oh. Still got him. There he is. <laughs> it's a pretty one at least. <laughs> pretty aggravating. See buddy. That's the last time I was there. I ain't been there in a long time. Most time I don't know if I already started a big motor. <laughs> but I do. 
But they don't go far. Yeah. And I just turn it off. That one. No. No. But I scoped him. I did scope him. It's weaker, but yeah. I watched him come up right. There's a little, there's a brush pile there, and he was, he came right out from it. And it's hard to see it sometimes. I mean, sometimes you just won't see your bait. You know you're in the vicinity, but like sometimes you just, you just don't see it. See, like I don't know where mine is right now. Sometimes I'll find it halfway through the cast. I'll find my bait all of a sudden. Sometimes you literally just never see it. All right, fellas. Spot number two. Didn't move super far, but moved to something that is a little less steep and a little more wood covered. Started with some rock. Now we're going to try something slightly different. And then uh, if we don't do really anything on this, I'll probably move to the creek arms a little bit. And probably stick in that kind of area for the rest of the day it's per usual guys it's just tough i mean it's it's been just a tough year in general but well last time we fished this i lost a four and a half pounder on this exact crankbait this one big? i don't think it's big no i'm pinwheeling him in so no it might be a war mouth actually <laughs> yeah it is Number one. I just use a little chunk. That's all you need. Well, Unless you're looking for and now if you're looking for a 20, 30 pounder, yeah, use a whole cap, a whole bluegill, but Bill, there's a good one. That might be a keeper right now. He's better. I, just I don't think he'll go it either, but he's close. Might. He might mess around and go with you. Ow. Yep, crankbait. I don't know if I don't want crankbait. It's a medium diver crawl color. Orange crawl, orange and yellow. I don't think he'll go it either, but he's in that kind of realm. Yeah, he's 14. 14. See you, buddy. At least you can catch one. Here's my thing. All right, mini rant, guys. I apologize. I know I rant about this lake a lot, but pretty much every state has a 12 inch state size regulation. And then they, they adjust it due to lake to lake, you know, pressure and how many fish live in the lake. What's the size in that lake? That's how they, they come up with size limits. So for most states other than Kentucky, for some reason, it's 12 inches, but they have an alternate size of 14. And for some freaking reason, Kentucky is 15 inches and like, Change it to 14 in all these lakes so people can catch keepers. Both of them are tight to the wood that I've caught recently here though. That one was like right on that piece. You just keep doing your thing. I'm gonna make one down the side of that tree. I like a war mouth. Oh, There's one. That's good. That's good. Yeah, he'll keep. Yeah, he'll keep. Yep, that's my keep. Now what do you feel about Jig? A little bit better about it, slightly? I think he'll keep. Yeah, doing? he'll keep. If that one that I just measured was 15, he's two inches bigger than the one I just let go. He's off the bank a little bit, too. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's like probably close to two. You're right. <laughs> I don't want you to high point your rod. I gave you some slack. Yeah, he's definitely a keeper. I have zero doubt this one's a keeper. Well, my a while now. Yeah, he's almost 16. Almost 16. Alrighty. Yeah, you should throw a jig for a little bit, I think. He's on yellow. Gives us a fighting chance at least. I mean, that's a good fish. He's two pounds. Right at it, if not. I mean, we definitely, it'll take more than that to win, but it's a start. We still got plenty of time. It's only 840. 
I see a little pattern now. But I don't know what she wants. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. I don't think he's as big, but he's all right. Oh, he's a good. He's about the same size, if not a little smaller. He's a little smaller. He might make the length, though. He's skinny, but he might make the length. He'll be closer than we think he will be. He's way up shallow. He's skinny, but I'm going to measure him. Just because the way he's built, I'm going to measure him. That's fine. I'm going to have to put a bitsy bug on, I guess. I'm telling you, he's a lot longer than you think he is. 14, three, four. <laughs> Ain't that sucks. Daggone, he is one of them just cookie cutters. He ain't gonna make it though, is he? Like 14 and 7 eighths. So, there's your fish, sir. There you go. Now you caught two on a jig. Hi, baby. <laughs> See you later. Hold on, my poke. Like, I can reach my bait, but it don't matter. Wouldn't it? I'll say it's bleeding. Yeah, that's pretty good in there. I say you ought to eat him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tie the jig on real quick. They get real rough things. But they stay that most of the time. They stay in that most of the time. They didn't get what they wanted. Oh, really? How do they get caught in a lie? Oh, yeah, they will. Boom. Well, I'll put a bitsy bug on. I joined you. Man, oh, man. That's a backlash. <laughs> I have a hard time getting to it anyway. I think he'll go. Look at his face. Look at that. I think he might go. Hmm? As long as one of us catch him, I'm not really worried. Nah, he don't go. 14 and a half. 14 a quarter. If his lip wasn't messed up, he'd probably be about a quarter of an inch longer, but he ain't even close enough for me to worry about. Poor dude. Poor face. Look at that. How many times do you think a jig's been in his mouth? See you, buddy. Dude, I lifted up. I was, I was up there kind of like you are. I lifted up. My, my jig was out here on the bottom. I was like, oh, Lord. He just picked it up big out with Yeah. I, that's why I thought, I thought it was going to be like a four or five pounder. So he went straight to deep water with it. Usually if you get one that does that, it's a big one. 
Which, I mean, he's a good one, but not big enough. You ready to make that long haul? Crazy, we still got three hours. I'm actually gonna. I kind of want to take this off. They're hitting black and blue. I'm gonna take it off. Put a black and blue one on. Real quick, while you do that. Ooh. I was right. Take over with that. That four pound. Three and a half. Three forty-five. Biggest one I ever caught is only 370. Cody actually has one bigger than mine. He's got 390. He's good in the fall in there somehow. I can't catch fish in the fall and cover like he does. I don't know. I don't know what I do wrong, but I do something wrong. All right, fellas, we moved back into uh, the river arm a little ways. Oh, oh. got me at time. Sorry about that. Oh, you're good. <laughs> But uh, we've made it a little bit closer to the ramp. Probably, well, really, the water's about the same stain. So I think that's probably a good thing for us. But uh, I think we've both kind of switched to a black and blue appeal today. It seems like that's... The only bite of the day is a bitsy bug. Yeah, bitsy bug <laughs> is seeming to get some bites. I put on a black and blue chatterbait instead of the white and chartreuse tried and true in here but you know we still got we got two and a half hours we got plenty of time to make it happen we just got to come across them so bear with us and see if we can do it i thought he fell warm out look at that still got it Oh, I got him. Yeah, he is. This GoPro is significantly overheated right now. So. Back one's going. I think. Yeah. Nothing happening, huh? No. I think we've caught six total. And other than one, every fish has been like at least 13 and three quarters to 16 inches, but we've only had one over 15. So. That's how it is here, unfortunately. That's a bunch of short fish. Hope y'all get lucky. That's what it'll take. Yep. It just takes two yep. good bites. Think about that gig a lot of times, you can give her a slack and it'll come loose. A lot of times you just pin your, you pin up to your bait keeper. That's I don't know if he's 15, but he's okay. Well, he felt big. Shorty. Shorty. There you go, guys. All right, fellas, that was first fishing. A long while, very little one, mind you, but I switched up to a black and blue jackhammer and got 10 cast in there he was. Let's see if we can find a bigger one though, hopefully. I thought I'd be stopping at the gas station to get ice. Gas and have time to do things and stuff. That's a big one. That is a big one. That's a real big one. That's a big, big one. You do that shit to me all the time on them bag That's like a three, four pounder. Oh my God. Yeah, now that helps. <laughs> yeah. That's a dandy there. That's a big one there now. Dang it, son, I wish I could find some fish built like that. Look at that thing, barely, look at this. I'm serious. Barely, it wouldn't even hook. Didn't even have it hooked. No. Just pressure, guys. Oh my God. Look at the gut. That might be four. That's not even a 20 incher, it might be four. Okay, black and blue sounds good to me. Yeah, that one helps a little bit. I feel a little better now. Holy crap. <laughs> Whoo! He bleed it and weigh it. I'll weigh it later, don't worry. We'll let we'll let Mike weigh it. We'll show it off. That's a good one. That might be four. I bet he's only like 18 inches too. 
He's just fat. Yeah, he's a fat. If we catch one more, I feel pretty good now. Like that's a that's a good kicker right there. I tell you, man, they they do exist in here. They're just far and few between. Black and blue chatterbait, huh? They're big or not? Then you might change. Well, every time you do that, then I put one on there. And then we don't get anything. On. You get a bite on it. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've done that? You know, I can lay it down. You pick it back up, catch another. Hey, I'm just glad he got in the boat. That's a freaking tank. I'm telling you, that's one of the heaviest, like, stocky fish I've ever caught. He's at least three and a half. At least. Easy, good. I'd say we got. I know when I heard the splash of the tail, he was a good one. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but he's got a bluegill in his talons. You can see the little. Yeah. I'd say we got five and a half to six pounds, probably. There was a bite right there, too. I set the hook way too hard there. I'm getting overzealous now that I'm excited. The worst thing about this chatterbait, and I try to preach this, and I always try to put in the videos too because I'm trying to teach other people to not make the mistakes I make because I, I fished this thing for years and years and years and I've had like not a significant amount of luck with it. But what I've learned in like the last year with it is you want to reel it incredibly slow. I thought you had him. You scared me to death. I had a bite. I don't know what bit. Something bit. Probably a war mouth. Probably. But yeah, no, I was I was contemplating that for a while up there. Cause when you start to catch them on the black and blue, and then I put a bitsy bug on and caught one on black and blue, I'm like, they aren't hitting white and chartreuse. I need to switch. But they've been eating black and blue today, so I picked it up. Never thrown a black and blue chatterbait in here before. Ever. Wouldn't I wouldn't I do that again? The same thing? Wrap it around it. Black and blue is my favorite. Yep, he just jumped. Yep. Now that was one of those ones where it's just it was meant to be. You need a flip flop. Sometimes they just aren't meant to be, and sometimes they are. Just the way it is. I did lose one the other day. It made that one look small though. There's one. Got one. Good one. Big one. Another big one. Not as big, but it'll keep. Yeah, to keep. I'm gonna switch. Chatterbait, huh? Chatterbait. Hey, that's three. Now he got it. Well, I guess I'll call them back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's 15. He's not huge, huge, but uh, he should be 15. Oh, yeah. yeah almost, almost 17. He's skinny, but I think this one's smaller than yours. Pretty sure. But that is a limit. We did it. A limit. Achievable. Well, fellas. Slow rolling. Slow rolling. Like this is about how I'm doing it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different, isn't it? You can cast that a little ways. I tell you what, guys. That's how quick you can go from zero to hero in this lake. Like I say, they live in it. They, I'll, I'll say it till the cows come home. You know, I just caught six pounds in 20 minutes there, but the amount of time I fished without a 15-incher in this lake is crazy sometimes. We're going to keep plucking away and see if we can call that one out. I think that's a small one, but hey. We want another four pounder in here, so. You got one? Huh? I think so. Well, I'll take us over. Eh? Maybe we'll get over and it'll be a six pounder on the back end of that tree. Yeah, yeah you do have fish. He's not a big one, but he is a fish. I was going to say, it didn't really seem like you didn't have something hooked. He ain't going to make the 15, but. Hey, he's healthy. That's a fat little bass. Come here, dude. Spinning around and around. He ain't bad at all. Probably about 12, 13. Yeah, he's 12. about 13. He's fat, though. He's healthy. He caught one on it. 
All right, fellas. Other GoPro chassis is overheated, so I've got it cooling off. That right there is apparently going to be the ticket today, but I'm using a 3 8 ounce black and blue jackhammer. Just a simple little swim bait trailer on the back. They're munching it. He just caught another one. Nothing's happened since the GoPro died, so hopefully you can get back out here and let's cull. All right, guys, GoPros are back rolling. Apologies, guys. It has cooled down some today, but it's still in the probably high 80s, I would guess. It's not 96. I'll take it, but it's still bad. Yeah, that, that buck 20 can go by pretty quick if it wants to. Golly. He ain't even big. About ripped the rod out of my hand. Yeah, about 12 inches. <laughs> See, bud? Clobbered it. You didn't have to be big, dude. All righty. Well, guys, we got a little, uh, a little over an hour to go here. We're going to move. Came to the end of this run of wood here. But... That bank was good to us as usual. Actually better than usual, to be honest. That was about as good as it could have went for us. We're, uh, I think we're setting at close to seven, maybe a little more than seven pounds. I'm not gonna say how to win it, obviously, but puts us in contention at least, which is all we can ever ask for. It's just chance and the ability to win it. There's one. I got one. I can't tell. He's. I don't think he's a keeper. Won't matter anyway. He wasn't a keeper. I think he was like 13. Like it last night, yeah. It was sitting completely still when he ate it. Like he, it was dropping. I killed it and just felt it load up. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. You gotta get Hunter a little bit. Hey, I still tag him in my videos, so <laughs> got to. Yeah, you got to. You gotta take care of each other. Uh-huh. Bigger than I thought he was. Bigger than I thought he was. Thank you, thank you. I thought we was going to be like seven and a quarter. <laughs> he reeled about eight pounder on 10 pound test a little. That's a good one too, though, man. Good fish, it won't go for you. Want me to pick a big one for you? It'll be close, though, I bet. I bet it'll be real, real. It's going to be right there. It's a little skinny, but. What was your big one? 438. That one's got me in length, definitely, though. That's a long oh, fish. No, I don't think it'll go for their eight. What's your name, Bob? 382. What is that? 382. Four, five, seven. Still, yeah. still a dang good I'll fish. Take it. Maybe with both of them. Well, maybe with five, four, seven. That's really good. 381. I thought it would go four. I said about three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying to leave the water. I'm trying to leave the water. 
fish good. Eight, uh, 47. 438 big. I'm throwing it in high gear and moving on to the next piece of woods. We saw you at one point. I saw you working that jig. You oh, was going yeah. with it. <laughs> All right, fellas. It ain't said and done yet. It hadn't been tallied. But I think we were the only ones to come in with a full limit today. And it looks like we're going to come in with big fish as well. So, heck of a little day to show up late to a tournament. We've got a few other people's fish in here, so I'm going to let all of them go here except for the big one real quick i'm gonna give her a proper release after i get all these directed in the right direction here goes big girl 438 i bet she's only 18 inches she's not super long but man heck of a fish all right fellas here she goes See you, big girl. Thank you, thank you. Standing right there. Second place, Kyle and Steven with 560. Thank you, thank you. You know you can make a living if you do it every other day, don't you? First place, Bill and Billy with uh, 847. <laughs> thank you, thank you. TNT pays about 700 a week. So you can quit. All right, fellas. I really can't complain. Obviously, it wasn't a crazy day. We didn't get a ton, a ton of bites, but the ones that we got counted and mattered. I think we ended up catching like nine fish total, but got the job done. 848, or 847, actually. And then 438 big fish. And that fish was only like 18 inches. That was a super fat one. He caught a good one. A couple good ones for me. Big fish in first place. Can't really complain. But uh, I think that'll be our last one until the classic, unfortunately, works starting to take over for me as it does this time of the year. It is what it is, guys. I wish it wasn't, but we're going to put our head down, go to work, and uh, hopefully you'll see me plenty in between now and the classic. But until then, we'll see you all later. Peace.